What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys today, we're gonna go over some market as per usual, some market crash as per usual, and yeah, we got a lot to talk about. Let's get 120 likes on this video for some MT giveaways to my subs. And yeah, guys, I only have 55,000 MT, but I am thinking about doing a snipe challenge right after this video. So if you guys do want to see that, also drop a like on the video. And also down below in the comments, let me know what you guys do want to see for my next video or what you guys want to see in the future. But right now, it looks like my game is lagging, so we might miss a ton of snipes. We're going to go over the market. We're going to go over some investments and what you guys should be doing. But some cards did rise. A lot of cards that were cheap later did rise a lot. So that's number one. And these packs are still in the market for about six days. So that's something you guys should take advantage of and be on the market trying to snipe. So if you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. So I just want to talk about a couple things. Um, first off, if you guys have a lot of MT and you really want to buy these Opals, I feel like it's not a bad idea. These prices are kind of cheap. Not only that, I see them rising a little bit. So Curry's actually up a ton. I got him for around 205. He's around 250 now. So Tracy McGrady was at four like 20 yesterday. He's around 570 now. So there's a lot of things you guys should do. If you have Opal KD, he went down from 4 like 30 to like 370, three, I mean to 390. I think his price is going to go back up. So if you did get him for like 370 yesterday or 350, I saw some go for. You're going to probably dub out and you're going to probably sell him for like 4 something. He is in the prime set. He's very rare. He's not in packs, so I do think his price is going to rise as well. Vince Carter around 176. Seems like a pretty deadly price to me. Considering the fact that he is a 99.99 and he's a Galaxy Opal and it's Vince Carter. So I think his price should rise as well. Also, we do have a new James Worthy in the game. Do not know what he's for. If you guys come over to the Player of the Month, they did not update it yet. Honestly, I don't want to see him as a Player of the Month. Maybe 2K has something new coming. I really don't think Player of the Months are dropping. Also, shout out to one of my subs for this. I've been saving a lot of my tokens up, and he's honestly told me something cool. He said he had a thousand tokens, and instead of doing that, he actually popped some of these packs, and he got over around 350,000 MT with a thousand tokens. If you guys really don't think the token market update is worth it, personally, I don't. If they do update it, it's not going to be anything big, at least I think. So I have 1,500 tokens almost, and I'm kind of thinking about, instead of getting my first opal off the token market, I'm kind of thinking about getting some MT. But I don't know. That's up to you guys. That's just another method to you guys that you should probably do. Um, if you think about it, a thousand tokens. What are these packs? They're ten tokens. So you can pop a hundred packs. If you get like four K per pack, that's four hundred thousand MT. Just saying. That's pretty crazy. You guys should probably try it out. If you bullet ping diamond Walton or something, that's an auto forty K. So that makes up for ten packs if you don't get four K out of them. I'm thinking you get at least 2k out of them. You're going to make at least 200k off these packs if you do have a thousand tokens. So it's kind of interesting, but I honestly personally might do it. I'm thinking about it. Well, I'll let you know though. But yo, right now, like I said, the opals are up. Some filters I would recommend, obviously the diamond filter. Donovan Mitchell dropped a lot. He might, honestly seems like a good investment to me. He was around 2000 something MT. Now he's rising and rising and rising. But not only that, the diamond filter is looking pretty good. It was looking good yesterday. I don't know if it's slower today, but then again, everyone's got to be on the game on Saturday. That's number one. So everybody's got to be on this game. I don't see why they wouldn't be on this game. It's Saturday. The market's crazy right now. And also, if you guys seen Triple Threat, if you haven't seen Rex Chapman on Triple Threat Online, because I haven't. I went like 5-0 and yesterday. I didn't see one Rex Chapman on the board. So... I don't know if he's really freaking rare. Supposedly they dropped him on boards. Of course, I'm not going to get him on my board because that's how I work. Super, super BS. But yo, on the snipe chat, on the snipe filter challenge, I'm thinking about doing the 500 MT one. Not totally sure though. Um, you guys probably should let me know in the comments what you want to see. 
how I should do it. Should it be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or 30 minutes? And what should I do? I don't know. Like, straight up. I literally, I was watching Young Simba do a 10-minute challenge, and it kind of hyped me up because he had a crazy, crazy thing. He had crazy things pop up for 600 MT, and I'm just sitting here like, how the hell did he do that? Like, I never get those good things when 500 MT stuff pops up. But that's just me, I guess. Uh, no, nah, it's his price. But all right, so let me think. We got the Pink Diamond Rudy Gay. Let's check out his price. Let's see if he's worth the pickup. I heard he's really good. I actually versed him, versed him last night. He really went off against me. But um, this guy might be a really good thing to bid snipe. One of my subs were saying how he's a really good. He's really good at bid snipe. He actually went up a lot of MT. He went up about 10k MT already. So whoever got him for like 50 something k is dubbing out right now. He's around 60k. If you want, you could honestly sell him. It's not a bad idea to sell. But honestly, I might have to sit on this filter a little bit. Try to get some Rudy Gaze up there. I, my MT is so low and I'm kind of getting sick of it. I need to sell my investments ASAP. I invested in a ton of cards and I think honestly a lot of them are. It's kind of time to sell. Honestly, yesterday the market was that low. If you did take advantage of the market being that, that low, you're going to make a lot of MT by selling your cards now. You could wait, but personally now waiting in 2K is always a mystery. With new Opals dropping constantly and constantly. I don't know if you should wait that long. Like, I do have a Yali, honestly. I have a lot of emeralds, a lot of golds from the 500 filter. I have a lot of people in my collection waiting to sell. And also, all you guys asking if you should sell your Steve Nashes, I would recommend selling them now. He hasn't been packs in, he hasn't been on packs for a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking about the 10 minute snipe challenge. We're probably going to do this filter right here. We're going to do no edits for 10 minutes. And I'm going to see what I can get. This filter is pretty solid. But yo, yesterday when packs drop, if you do this filter, it's a lot deadlier. It's probably going to be slower now. But yo, there's so much to do in this game. Also, if you do have a lot of NT because you sold your cards Thursday like I sold you to, you could pretty much buy a whole team today. I recommended it buying it yesterday, but today is also a good day to buy because I think cards are still going to rise a little bit more. I think Rose is going to get up to around 260, maybe 270 because the set reward is Galaxy Old Dwight. That's gone. So the set reward is Galaxy Opal Dwight. So it kind of does have some value. Tracy McGrady is one of the best cards in the game. And also, if you do a pink diamond Tracy McGrady, I'm going to show you something. Yesterday, I saw one sell for 130K. No lie. No lie. I saw some for 120. He's back up to 170. Now, Tra Tracy's actually that rare. And personally, if you have like 500K MT and you want to spend all your MT on Tracy McGrady, I would recommend just getting the 97. Like, personally, in my opinion, I don't think he's that much worse. Like, this one just sold for 630. I would recommend selling him ASAP. But if you compare it, first off, it's 99.99. So if you get the new Opal one, it's not going to affect your, your um, offensive, defensive overall at all. But, yo, it's really not that big of a difference shooting-wise. Yeah, he has more Hall of Fame badges. But, honestly, this one played, like, amazing for me yesterday still. This card's obviously better. The defense literally only goes up two. So, like, one thing that I find really big in cards is perimeter defense, and it really hasn't went up for this much for this card. Perimeter defense and dunk. The dunk is pretty much the same. The three-point shot is literally a three difference. Maybe even a two difference without that shoe he has on him. So, in my opinion, there's really not that big of a difference. He's still going to hit a ton of shots. Maybe Opal... Maybe Oval T Mac goes 10 for 11 and this car goes 9 for 11. I don't know. That's just something I think. I don't really think it's worth the upgrade. Vince Carter is definitely worth the upgrade. And also, one other player I want to talk about is Kobe Bryant Diamond because I don't think they're going to drop a new one in the game. I think that's why they did push off the locker code to the side. Yesterday, I got one for 40K and I sold it for 60K overnight. It was pretty solid. Um, Like this one right here for 48K. If I had enough MT, I would buy this car. If you're on Xbox, and uh, I post this video and it's still here. Buy this card, bro. I got one with unlimited shoes and unlimited contract. You could probably pick this up for 48 and sell them for like 60. Because if you think about it, that's another like 20,000 plus MT put on value. And he's still the cheapest on the market with this unlimited stuff. So probably something you should look at. And also, if you guys don't know, you should probably bit snipe right now. It is the market crash. A lot of things are going on. Like Chauncey Bellis might be a deadly card to bit snipe. Giannis might be a deadly card to bit snipe. And uh, yeah, this Donovan Mitchell, someone just got this for 2K, he's going to fill them for 2,800, make a quick 600, 700 MT in seconds. So a lot of stuff to be doing, a lot of stuff to be said, 
And guys, if you want to make some MT as well, try um getting Nate Robinson up. Like, if you get Nate Robinson up to a pink diamond, his price, I'm pretty sure his price is something crazy. One second. Nate Robinson, his pink diamond, I think, is actually insane. Oh, wow. He's actually around 90... 80-ish K, and yeah, it's Nate Robinson. I would recommend try doing it. But yeah, if you want to make MT, try to grind them out. It'll probably take you a day if you really grind. But yeah, guys, that's really all I got. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content, possibly the snipe challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.